Hey there guys, Breno here and welcome to episode 11 of my Feed the Beast Let's Play and at the moment so there was a big massy bit of land here last episode but I've just gone ahead and removed it all and used the help of the filler which never works properly for me. At the moment I'm doing a bit of terraforming and just getting some land ready for the warehouse you could say or it's either going to be a warehouse or the forestry farms I might be moving them and um, setting them up pretty you know, much better than I did before the sheep shard I've been working on it on and off and um, I don't have any dirt I thought I had more dirt than that ok so I need to get all this cobble ripped out um, and replace it all with dirt so I'm gonna actually, you know what? Let's use my manium stone, seems I've got it. Let's just get some grass blocks. That'll do for now. I'm gonna get that done and I'm smelting up a load of hardened glass so we can get our mob spawner finished. And I'll also have need to make an anvil. Um and the anvil is going to be used so I can repair my vial sword since it's got sharpness 4 and soul stealer on it and what I can do is I can keep the sheep farm and then every soul shot I've got I can when it's got to say I killed a fa uh, just over a thousand sheep I can then use that soul shard um, to basically convert a zombie one or anything like that into a tier 5 meaning I can make it into a mob one ok guys I'm going to get all this done and I'll be right back and then we'll finish off that mob tower and I'm going to try and make today's video short but normally when I say that it ends up being 40 minutes so I'm going to head off now and get a load of dirt and I'll be right back ok guys so I sorted out the quarry overflow and uh, yeah I wanted to show you how I get my kills See I'm on 285. Now I'm on 290. So let's get killing. La 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 la. Okay, now I'm not going to use a sword no more. The sword can just move here for now. Um, okay, now we're on 430. Um, I need to get the sword repaired, um, so we'll have to use an anvil for that. I'm going to carry on and make this area pretty, and then I'll be right back when that's done. And then we'll finish up the mob tower, and then we'll call it the end of an episode for today. And there's two endermen. See you later guys. Okay guys, I'm back and we're going to be making something that I'm going to need uh, a lot in this world. Um, so I think I might as well make it now. That's the anvil. Let's just clear this recipe. Right, let's head outside and for some reason my trap doors, um, sorry, what are they called? Pressure plates don't seem to be working. Um, place this bad boy here and I believe I can just do this 17 and we're at 15 okay that's not many levels so I can just use my nano saber um, do we have any wheat on us no okay let's go check one of the farms and head over to the sheep pen um, I'm going to be using that just to get like sheep shards and, and I'm going to be basically use an anvil to convert the sheep shard. And 64, that'll do. And I've been manually moving the saplings for now, but this will be automated. Eventually, I'm going to have a big flat area with a load of forestry farms. Uh, the, more I can, the more I can have, the better it says, basically. Uh, the storage um, system I'm going to be thinking of Oh, there isn't many here, is there? Uh, yeah, the storage system that I'm going to be thinking of is uh, 
I already have a stack in my inventory, is basically it's going to um, wait with barrels and it can go through a retriever the same way I got my quarry set up. Um, and the scrap will, instead of having two chests down there and recycling center, um, that's just going to move and uh, you know get better eventually. Um, I'm just trying to get some levels at the moment, just kill anything I can see. Just for a little bit of XP. Um, so I'm going to get 17 levels and then I'll be back and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've got my 21 levels. Well, I actually need 17, but I just want a little rampage. Um, so yeah, let's get some of this cooking. I believe it's like this. There we go. And we should get red alloy ingots. Now I'm going to go grab another stack of iron. I've um, got plenty of iron. Um, doesn't look like a lot at the moment because it's all in um, block form. As you saw, I built most of the mob farm out of iron anyway. Um, this should have pulverized and looks like this needs a charge. So let's just do some maintenance while we're here. Let's go plug him in and take one out. Uh, my quarry has stopped. Um, I need to charge about 12 of these, I believe now. Um, right, let's move him and grab him. He should be fully charged. Yeah. So that's the charging system. It's pretty simple. I want to get this um, mob spawner finally done. Um, did I bring lead with me? Yes, I did. So wait for this pulverize, and I think what we'll do, go and do, is why this is making the red alloy. Um, this might need a bit more redstone. Yep. While that's doing that, um, do we need more? We'll just put logs in it for now. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go and finish our sword, and I also need to charge my jetpack and also of some other stuff too. My nano armor, which I want to get upgraded, but I haven't found any iridium. And I don't know how to get it. So if we put our vial sword here, like this. How much will it cost to re. Oh, 24. No. Uh, there we go. How much does it cost to repair fully? Uh, okay. Now we need to get an XP farm now. Um, so I'm going to look into the turtles um, to get that thing running properly. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish the sheep shard and we're going to put the sheep one in there. And I'm also going to get all the iron glass ready. So I'll see you in a sec guys. And uh, this one, this episode, I'm trying to do it a little bit different. So tell me the difference between episode 10 and episode 11. I think this is episode 11. I'm pretty sure. And uh, tell me what you like more. Uh, which type of style do you like me basically doing the stuff and showing or do you like me you know doing the stuff while commentating and you know basically doing it <laughs> uh, right okay so I'm gonna get my all my hardened glass ready hopefully and uh, do my sheep shard and I'll be right back and I'll see you later okay while well, I'm over here getting some uh, dirt I thought I'd show you how much stuff I've actually got um, half up more iron, loads of tin, loads of mosaic, which is made for making forcium, and copper, loads of Zycraft crystals, so we have to use them eventually. Um, loads of redstone, loads of uh, nickelite, loads of lapis, loads of appetite, 1000 appetite now. Um, a bit more obsidian, I could actually do with a stack of that. Um, let's get rid of the stone and give me a stack. And a bit more gold, a bit more silver. Anything in this chest? Oh. That is not good. This means I could have an overflow, and I don't really want that. Um, because we've got six diamonds here, which is telling me we've hit the right level, but. Our overflow chest has overflowed a bit too much, and this means my cobble chest 
my cabo barrel has filled up way too much which is making the system jam and all the items over there are not actually loaded so I'm gonna Um, I'm going to sort this mess out, I'm going to break that barrel and just get rid of the 1000 cobblestone which is probably going to lag me out so I'm going to stop recording and get this done. Now I'm in full screen, there we go. Sorry, a little recording area there, forgot to pull out of a normal screen, so I've been busy again. Um, but I want to make myself a lot of swords. There we go, there we go. I'll get the turtle. And now I'm making melee turtles. These are going to come in so useful, it's unbelievable how useful these are going to be. Oh, come on, give me the turtle. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't think these stat do they? Oh, they do. So, it's uh, this is going to be where I'm going to get the way I'm going to get my XP now which is going to advance me so fast it's unbelievable so I thought I'd show you I made some advanced alloy I got more hardened glass I'm going to get that done now and when it's done and I've done all the final preparations and I've got it running I'll show you how I'm doing it and I've nearly done my sheep shard so as soon as that's done I'll be right back and I'll show you the XP farm slash item farm slash every single farm you're going to want in Minecraft. Well, feed the beast. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. I mean, now we might as well. Oh, I'm run thing. Now we might as well repair our sword. There we go. Uh, another 18 levels. Okay, that's okay. And my dad's in, and he won't shut up. Ah, uh, he's moaning in the kitchen, doing me freaking adding, but oh well. Um, yes, he's running. I see. The problem I'm having at the moment: the item drops aren't. Um, oh, actually, what if I break this one? If I give him a clear block. Oh, what just hit me? As you can see, this works perfectly, but my test concludes that we can't fill up soul shards unless we kill them ourselves. Okay, that's fine. I'll just keep using the sheet method. I do need to finish off the glass around the sides. Oh, why is this filling up? If I just take these off the top. So this might be working actually, but there's still an issue in the system. Okay, okay, let's just uh, sort these barrels out, and there we go. I'm gonna have the system permanently on too. Um, I'm not that bothered about it being on, um, and the drops, if they don't go into a barrel they will just simply, you know, be getting rid of. Okay, right. Now I can take this off. Okay. Ow. When the turtle goes to strike a cow, um, the script I'm using, um, I will remember to put a link in, isn't actually mine. Um, it's a person on YouTube, I forgot the name, but I will put it down in the end of the video. And actually, we're going to do something else here. We're going to run. Where do I want our lever to be? Here, this will do. We're going to run our red alley wire. Straight up here. Oh, sugar. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Where's the other one? And we'll get our red alley wire again. This is why I was making the red alley ingots earlier. And we're simply just going to go and remove 
move this. Okay, and then we're just gonna connect this. And eventually along these lines we'll just have spawners um, all in a line and they should have enough room to spawn. So that's part one of the system. Um, ow! I'm gonna get killed by my own turtles. Right, now let's just see if this works. If I emit a redstone signal, it should turn the farm off. There we go, now I can collect my XP. There we go. Will we get to level 30? Let's just see. I reckon level 29. <sighs> okay, so the system. What? what are you attacking me? You should be facing that way. Okay, let's just do this. Dad's still moaning. Just want to finish the video and then I'm going to watch TV. Okay, so let's go over here and do our enchant for this episode. And then uh, I'll be ending this one and uh, I'll try to upload this again for you. Um, so you've got some more videos to watch and I hope you've enjoyed. Um, really getting on there now with these soul shards. I'm really interested. Come on, don't be a bastard. Um, that's going to start whinging again in a minute. Yeah, he's on again. There we go. Okay, guys, uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next one where we will work on our mob tower. And uh, hopefully, next episode, we'll have the sheep one and uh, maybe more. I'll get working on that over the weekend, and the next video should be up maybe Monday or Tuesday. Okay, guys, so I'll see you later. Hope you've enjoyed, and bye-bye. Uh, Remember to click the like button and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.